<laughs> so here I am uh starting up a live ISO of elementary OS uh on my trusty 15 year old PC uh the single core AMD Athlon I think it's 3200 um and uh very it's got like three and a half gigs of RAM um this is old ddr ram uh does not have i believe like a dual channel feature uh it is pretty old uh and, and it's got i'm running on integrated graphics so i think that's another thing to keep in mind there is like very little if any graphics acceleration available for it to to run from so uh it's pretty much doing all of this on its own, on its CPU, um, very little help. And now, it took a while to, to, to get into, but I'm surprised it actually came up on the desktop pretty easily. I've never really used elementary OS before, but I assumed it was a little bit of a, of a heavier distribution. Uh, I, you know, I know it has a, a nice looking uh, graphic environment. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is me just playing around with it. I've actually never really used elementary OS before. Uh, this was kind of just on a whim. I've been thinking about making a computer for a friend, and uh, they've been using Mac forever. Uh, but, you know, they can't afford a new Mac, and I can't afford a new Mac for them. So, you know, see if I can make them a Linux computer that uh, that works uh, similarly to a Mac. Uh, and so here I'm just kind of running around. I'm, I have a hard drive already in this computer, so there is some music on it. I'm going to pull some music up. Uh, and uh, I'll show you all that indeed music worked out of the box. Sound worked great, flawlessly, in fact. Um, I mean, most of, most of the time it, it will, on, especially these kind of like older standard devices. Like this is just a Windows PC. Uh, yeah, it's like a real tech card in it. And I'm sure at some point there'll be a problem, but at this point it's fine. There's just not a lot of uh, issues I run into. Um, I say that as so obviously something didn't translate right there. But uh, yeah, so here I am listening to some Avril Lavigne because obviously I had this, the hard drive in that computer is, is very old and has some very old stuff on it. Um, but yeah, everything works uh, as expected. I, I like the layout, a uh, very nice kind of clean thing. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't find uh, an about page, so I couldn't figure out exactly what they're doing. Uh, but it seems like they might have either added their own kind of skin to uh, Rhythm Box or something, or maybe they've made their own kind of uh, set of programs. I know this is like a paid option, uh, so or uh, you know, pay what you can. But they they do kind of ask you to pay, which not everybody else does. A lot of places are just like download, download. Uh, so so you know, maybe they put a little bit of uh, investment and time and energy into uh making their own programs so you can see my arm is getting tired because i'm actually sitting on the floor here <laughs> with my arm above like my head trying to get in uh and uh you can kind of see that the ram utilization not not terrible um i mean it's like a fresh boot i haven't really opened much and it's only using 623 megabytes of ram uh, there's a lot of a lot of stuff buffered uh in there but Still very surprisingly small footprint uh, from from the from the the uh, the OS itself, uh, and I like that. I appreciate that. I, I want to be able to use my RAM for for other things aside from just running a desktop. Um, but it's still very aesthetically pleasing. It still looks nice. Uh, it's simple, but it's readable. Uh, you know, whatever. This isn't like a distribution. <laughs> it's always going to end up being like partial distribution reviews, but. Um, they're really, it's really just about like what these distributions can do on old hardware. Uh, and this is a single core processor. So, I mean, just the fact that it's like holding up uh, a modern, modern-esque, you know, uh, desktop is cool. It's nice. Now, I think I'm over here trying to uh, get into a web browser. I'm not exactly sure why I'm taking so long. Probably saying something stupid. Oh, no, I'm just waiting for the browser. Clicked that a second ago. 
Uh, but it did take a while. Once things cache into this computer, it's usually fine. It can read them from RAM. I mean, also this is a live USB, but it has the same problem even when I run a hard drive. Uh, so maybe if I had an SSD, it might load a little faster as well. At some point, I'm just gonna throw an SSD in here just to see what it does. But it's limited by because it, it's just like SATA. SATA two. I don't know. It's not. They're they're not like full range SATA or modern SATA connection so they, they really can't even utilize the entirety of an SSD but here we are running around on the web um, I'm gonna try and I think open up uh, YouTube because uh, you know I think showing off uh, video playback is is generally one of the the heaviest things I can do on this PC I mean you know the, the, the fun thing about this computer is it does still work really nicely with old older Windows software uh and so I, I i do some retro gaming on it still um with fruity loops installed <laughs> through wine on the on the actual lubuntu install on this computer um but it's pulling up a modern browser it can do it and and uh you know as much as i i know this probably isn't very exciting for uh, people who who weren't around to see what these computers were doing at the time but i mean at the time Maybe programs were a little bit snappier, but I mean, you weren't going to get much better. You were waiting 30 seconds to a minute and a half to load web pages anyways. So, you know, it's just cool to see what these things can do. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this really is a very aesthetically pleasing environment. Um, gotta say, gotta say, everything's very unified. I, I It took me a second. I had to go back. In and do a little searching because uh, I, I wasn't immediately familiar with this browser again nothing it's all kind of integrated uh it's not telling you like oh this is firefox oh this is rhythm box oh this is you know this is they're really trying to give you like a complete experience uh and that's interesting i'm i'm not necessarily what i would want out of the system uh, or, or care about uh but i can see why especially new users would be speak appealing um and, and surprisingly light, again, surprisingly light. Um, it, it took a little bit of finagling uh, to get this to, to play back properly, but I, and I was getting stutters on occasion. Um, but I also did find that just, I mean, so I'm gonna click this link, uh, we're gonna put a little pusher on and it immediately started playing back. I, I was I was sincerely surprised. Um, I, I almost kind of wish it wouldn't because now you can see it, it's it's gonna take a while to load, and there's always those two like, hey, you should sign in, and also, do you want YouTube Pro, whatever, premium? And I don't, but uh, you know, you can see it's struggling to both play the video as well as uh, load the page. So I mean, things like Firefox are nice because they they will automatically uh, stop videos from playing if you choose that option. Uh, and I, I, I generally like that. Uh, I prefer it not automatically start. Uh, yeah, but here, I mean, it's, it's playing. I, I do, I believe the sound is off. Um, so that's not ideal. Uh, and, and I, I could have, I think it's a it pause. It froze as well. This happened, uh, at least twice or three times to me, uh, where, where they just froze. Um, you can see me messing around with my stupid, uh, yeah. Okay. And so my phone just died right there. Uh, but here we, here we are. Now we're back, uh, brought it back up. I made a couple of functional changes here. You can see that I actually turned off transparency. Uh, I try to do a couple things to, to speed up the computer a little bit. Um, I oftentimes will also uh, remove a background just because it's a little bit of extra memory. Not even a ton, but it's like, you know, it's just enough. Uh, and it can mess up your, if you're trying to uh, pass like a VNC. Uh, so through VNC, it can get a little hectic. I also turn it to dark mode. Just a couple of easy, easy, you know, one click features uh, that, that, you know, are available that are really nice. Um, I prefer a dark mode but here we are the video is playing uh and it's playing uh pretty nicely i think i have it the the uh i think i've turned down 
the quality pretty low. I think I've got it as low as, as possibly 144 um, P, <laughs> uh, whatever that means. Um, but uh, it, yeah, it, the playback is fine. You know, I have to kind of minimize these these windows. I can't have it all uh, have the whole page on screen. Otherwise, that will inevitably mess things up. Uh, so shrinking the window does this help. Um, and I think I actually might have turned GPU acceleration off here because again, GPU acceleration is pulling from like a like a an AMD internal graphics system. It's like the it's like a, a graphics chip on the board. It's very very. It's, it's like sixty four megabytes of of RAM on it, VRAM on it, or whatever. Um, it's it's nearly unhelpful. Uh, and so I, I do believe I, I've turned off uh, the GPU acceleration feature on this browser, which which is GNU Web, um, a, a browser I'm not 100% familiar with, uh, but seems chill enough. Uh, I, I'm actually, it's, it's probably based off of Chromium or, or Firefox. I don't really know, but um, pretty straightforward, simple browser. Not a lot of feature sets, not a lot going on, uh, but... I mean, at this point, I. It seems it would it would seem almost unreasonable for them to try to create their own, like full on browser. It seems probably a lot easier to just have a a browser feature set, uh, in there, and then most people are probably just going to install Firefox or or their favorite Chromium based browser. Um, that would be my expectation, uh, unless you're very unfamiliar with computing and you're very comfortable just relying on safari which i mean honestly i guess a lot of people do that so th it makes sense i mean th there is like ad block features and stuff um it's not so bad here i am turning off annotations you can see how long it takes for for just the desktop to run while also running a video like uh, it's definitely pushing over you know the, the load of what is acceptable um for the for the the pc to handle but it, it still pushes it it still works and, and frankly i mean this is also uh pushing the desktop out at 1080p uh so surprisingly it works better with this television that i've purchased recently than it ever did with the monitor that i've had uh for a little bit so i don't know what that says about it but everything works just great uh, with this with this new new television, as you might might notice, this is a little bit of a different setup than I've had in the past. Um, yeah, this nice television at a thrift store, kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so so here we are upping the, the the quality, and I I at first it was not doing well. It froze that first time. Uh, an automatic quality of thirty uh three sixty p, but uh, I'm gonna get it up to three sixty p here, and it's gonna play smoothly. So again, small has to be small. It can't render this like full screen or whatever, or even much bigger than this, honestly. Um, but but there you go. I mean, this is this is a uh, elementary OS on a on a pretty old PC. So I imagine the elementary OS on something like a dual core, uh, you know, like a dual core uh, a MacBook Pro or something like that, an older MacBook Pro might might run pretty reasonably. Um, I also was really intrigued. I uh, I did put this uh, I this um, ISO. I, I booted it up live on my netbook on my little quad core uh, Atom netbook, uh, it, which is essentially the quality of, of a very low grade of like a Raspberry Pi two maybe or something like that um, to some degree. I mean, obviously the the, the Pi's are are better, more efficient. Okay, here we go. We glitch out and we freeze. The whole browser freezes again. Uh, so that does happen. Um, so I mean, obviously, this is probably a little bit more, more than it wants to run. This computer really doesn't want to push a, a graphical interface anymore. It doesn't want to push your GUI. It, it it really just wants to be, if anything, a slow a slow server, uh, just run out of the TTY or through SSH. I mean, I probably should just put like a Ubuntu server on this computer and stop messing around. Um, you know, but it is it is just fun to play with. Um, at some point, I will get an SSD, and I want to 
just put a Bluetooth server on it and see if I can push it to the limits, make it actually useful within my, my systems. Right now, it's just kind of a joke little toy. Uh, I think I'm trying to play around with the, the repositories, but I, I can't install much of anything anyways because I think it wants me to do uh, updates before I really do any of that. Uh, there's a lot of updating it wants me to do, and you should not update a live ISO. It does not end well, generally. Um, but yeah, so pretty pretty fun um pretty uh interesting uh experience it, it runs pretty well oh, oh i i had it up on the netbook uh and the, the netbook is a, that annoying thing where it's 32 bit uh uefi 64 bit um processor and a lot of isos can't handle that um the the few isos that i've had success with are uh, Fedora ISOs right out of the box, uh, and now elementary OS out of the box. I, I have gotten Lubuntu and Ubuntu running out of the box, or when they're not out of the box though, it took me, um, I had to use like make USB and we, and it, it had to like, you know, I budge like a, its own its own bootloader in there or whatever where it, like it essentially puts a grub for you to go to a grub of another it's it's weird and convoluted but uh it does work and i was able to have a little ubuntu install on that for a while but on that um i, I was surprised again it's it wasn't as stable a desktop experience as i would have wanted um but it was it was fine. I mean, we were again, running off of a live USB, so I um, might might have run better off the system. And and I mean, you can see here that uh, I'm just clicking around on the desktop, but I mean, the desktop itself, not bad. I mean, you know, that it's not smooth animations or anything, and it takes a second for programs to load if they're not previously cached. Um, if I click that browse the web, it's probably going to open the browser pretty pretty reasonably. Uh, or a 15 year old single core processor um and yeah so but i mean the the desktop is, itself is relatively fluid uh and it it's it's a reasonable experience um so so that's what you can expect from a single core processor and i, I really just love that, that that linux can still do this linux can not make this computer a reasonable uh daily driving experience not by any means i wouldn't do that how are you uh, but I just think it's cool that uh, that Linux is capable of running on the system, right? And if I were to to create a, a, an embedded setup that that's just for a specific purpose, I mean, it wouldn't be efficient because at this point we have much more efficient computers available to us that are more powerful. I mean, uh, ARM architecture has has really changed the game. Risk uh, Risk Five architecture has changed the game, uh, but or risk architecture or whatever i'm not i'm not a hardware fiend like that it was changed the game a lot but this is it's still very fun to know that linux could run and again um i would i would expect that that if you if you threw this onto an old macbook uh macbook pro something you found in a dumpster you know uh it would probably run pretty well in fact i actually have an old macbook pro and uh from and, and it's really it's only i think maybe a, a year or two newer than this this 15 year old compact that i have uh, but it is a dual core so um i i really at at some point uh maybe i'll i'll, I'll take a run through on that i uh, see how it see how it works because uh i mean that could be interesting i think if it can be an interesting project for you if you you're running a very outdated version of of uh, apple Apple's operating system, then maybe you can take a shot on something like this, uh, and, and see if if this can can fill fill the gap and, and give you a, a modern, up to date, safe experience um, that that has modern security updates and uh, and you know is is still still being developed for. You can still you know you're get you're getting good versions of software. You're getting good versions of of a uh, of various things and that's 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 nice um yeah well you know i mean i'm, I'm probably gonna keep going on this for a while uh <laughs> it seems like i think i still have like another minute or two 
I don't know if there's anything else particularly interesting to say uh, or show you with this wobbly freaking camera. Oh yeah, HTOP was installed out of the box. I really appreciate when HTOP is installed out of the box. Uh, top can show you more of what's happening, but HTOP is prettier. It's nicer to show. You can see the other single core processor here. It's not, you know, it's running running a constant, you know, so few percentage points, but it, so there's nothing else for, for it to offload to. There's no other course. So yes, it will run at a, run at a few percentage points. Uh, I do have some little tricks usually in there. Preload Pro, well, I haven't I haven't installed anything on this, so it wouldn't make sense. But um, yeah. So you know, uh, pretty efficient, uh, pretty reasonable. I mean, I, after having opened some stuff like a web browser and stuff, now our our, our memory utilization is a little higher. Uh, but it, it, <clears throat> that's really not terrible. It's not terrible at all. Um. I don't love the transparent terminals. I, I'm sure there's got to be a way to change or adjust that. But overall, though, very attractive, uh, very kind of like modified GNOME feel, which I mean, I, it seems to be modified GNOME 3, uh, as most things are a variation of mod or modification of fork of, of GNOME, because GNOME is just the desktop environment. Uh, I haven't tried KDE. I actually probably should, just for fun, try a KDE desktop. I I don't know. It doesn't really appeal to me. Uh, but yeah, well, thanks for hanging out. And uh, that was uh, Elementary OS on a Mac, or a Mac, on an old ass uh, Compaq. So see y'all again in the next one.